Hi. I am an alum of the UP Delta Lambda Sigma sorority. And in solidarity with all sororities and all the female students and those who identify as female, I greet you a happy day. Pag-usapan natin ngayon ang sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is real, even here in UP, where you expect intelligent people should behave according to law. That no. We have had cases in the past where professors required their students to give sexual uh, favors or the professors getting sexual favors in exchange for good grades or passing grades. Dito, may kasabihan noon sa sexual harassment at sa lahat ng mga eskwelahan na may mga manyakis na mga profesor. Kwatro o kwarto? Hindi tayo magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Ang sexual harassment ay isang sakit na dapat mawala dito sa UP at sa lahat ng mga eskilang. Dahil ito ang nagdudulot ng endless suffering sa mga babaeng estudyante at sa mga bading na estudyante din. And uh, I've handled uh, some cases here in UP of sexual harassment, including in the UP College of Law where the professors are supposed to know the law of the Anti-Sexual Harassment Act. And uh, basically, it is sexual harassment if the acts or words have a sexual nature that creates a hostile and offensive environment for the offended party, be it a student, uh, staff, uh, any employee or a teacher. Now remember, sexual harassment can be committed by a person of same sex, different sex, a person of uh, lower rank against a higher rank, but Usually, generally, it is created by uh, one of higher status or rank, such as professors and officers, against uh, subordinates or students or on-the-job trainees. Because sexual harassment, like rape, is a matter of power. The, offend offended, uh, the offenders uh, commit sexual harassment because they think they can because they have the power and they think that uh, the victims will just be quiet kasi di ba magpapahiya ka at ka magre-reklamo di ba at pag nagreklamo ka sabihin naman ng iba malisyosa ka at uh, pag nagreklamo ka sino maniniwala sa iyo di ba kaya tayo may office on gender diyan dito sa UP dahil sa sexual harassment complaints dapat you start from the point of belief Hindi disbelief. Paniwalaan mo. Anong complain? Lalo na pag-estudyante. Kasi bakit naman siya magkukomplain? Hindi ba? Hindi ba magkukomplain ka sa teacher mo? Tak! That's an uphill climb. So, if it's not something uh, uh, that is true, why will you even complain? Hindi ba? And bother. Wala ka naman kukunin sa kanya. Hindi ba? Lagi na lang sabi eh kasi ano yan eh, jilted yan, gusto yan sa teacher niya at saka na ano, kaya pambira naman kayo. Pumasangan na upkat yan eh. Di ba kaya IQ yan? Oh. Bakit naman siya gagawin pa din sa teacher niya dahil may gusto siya? Di na yan ubra yung mga ganyang depensa. Kaya sa sexual harassment, dahil sa state university tayo, nag apply din ang civil service Commission Rule on Anti-Sexual Harassment. Pasahin nyo yan. Diyan yan. May libro ako dyan sa UP College of Law Center Bookstore. Anti-Sexual Harassment Act Notes and Cases. Ngayon, ano yung dapat yung gawin pag kayo ay na-sexually harassed? 
Number one is to identify it. You help each other identify it. Pag feeling mo, ano, nakakaya naman to, bakit you go to the gender office and you process it, tutulungan ka nilang ma-process yung mga, mga fears mo, agam-agam mo, dahil pala may nangyari sa'yo, may ginawa sa'yo. Mahalasa. And from there, you have you know that you have a right to to complain to sue an administrative case in UP or in your college a criminal case for sexual harassment there's also a civil action of course for damages but uh, when you file a criminal suit usually kasama na diyan importante diyan na dapat ba convict yung mga sexual harasser na yan para matanggal na yan sila as professors or staff or officers ng university. State University ang UP, no? Malala pa, pag dito kayo ng haras. Kasi, pera namin yan, taxpayers, binabayad sa inyo, sweldo sa inyo, tapos nung manyak kayo ng mga estudyante dyan, ako po. Kaya kaya na gusto ko ito, mga batang babae dito sa UP, mag-aral na rin ng martial arts eh. Yan ang problema dito, kasi mga teachers dyan na nangaharas, they think that you will not complain. Oh, I had a student there in the UP College of Law who complained about all these taxes ng kanyang teacher. Pero mo, professor sa College of Law, nagtitext ka ng alas stress ng umaga sa estudyante mo, sabihin mo, uh, I'm going to play golf, would you like to have breakfast? Tapos sabihin mo, that is not malicious. Alam ba na asawa mo nang titeks ka ng estudyante mo? Yayaya ka ng breakfast? Yan, mga, mga anak. Galit-galit talaga ng lola nyo kasi. Kinagawa nyo kaming tanga eh. Alam kayo mga manyak kayo? Tumigil na nga kayo dito sa UP. Nakakaya kayo. Pera namin, mga taxpayers, ang babae ng sweldo nyo. At dapat, ngayon, yung bagong chancellor, former dean of the UP College of Law. Dean Vistan should be very strict. In the UP, of course, has a strict policy against sexual harassment, which the chancellor and the deans should enforce. Ngayon, tayong mga sa sorority at mga walang sorority, tayong mga sudyante lahat, kasi pati lalaki pwedeng maharas, hindi ba, boys? Eh, kung pervert naman ang teacher mo, kahit lalaki siya, di ba? Pwede ka talaga maharas. Jokes. Yung mga jokes. Yung, dati hindi natin alam, sexual harassment para yan. May isang teacher dyan in the 70s eh. For every time you give a wrong answer, I will take off a piece of my clothing. Bakla, hindi na yan pwede ngayon. May batas na. The Anti-Sexual Harassment Act. At, kailangan tayo kayo mga estudyante, you must be united against this evil in all colleges and universities. You must protect each other. And the best way to protect each other is to demand that the university has a clear, strict policy against sexual harassment and will enforce it whoever is the offender or respondent. Ito ang mama big nyo. <laughs> Class 84. So UP College of Law. Courtesy of the UP Delta Lambda Sigma Sorority ang inyong kaibigan. P3 PWD Party List. <laughs>